To discover a gateway in DL Windows, the first thing that you would have to do if it has not already been done for the account is to open up the tools and then go to set security password. Now when you set the security password, it is a six character length password, it's alphanumeric. So if you just type in your six characters and then retype in your six characters, click OK, it will say that your password has been set successfully click OK and now you are ready to discover your gateways. So to do this you highlight the account that you want to discover the gateway on, click on the gateway config, and this opens up your configuration window. Now there are two ways that you can discover a gateway. You can discover an auto add which will do everything in one step or you can go under gateways and click on discover new gateways and then once the gateway is discovered then you can add the gateway to the account. But if you do it this way, it is a two-step process. So I'm going to do the one step, discover gateways and auto add. When you click there, this will automatically uh, add any assigned, unassigned gateways to the system. Would you like to continue? Click yes. And it's communicating over the network to any unassigned gateway. And once it finds that gateway, it will automatically assign it, which will means that it will have a blue IP address. Blue means that it's ready. If it's green, it means that it's available, and this is part of the two-step process, the green. Uh, if they eventually turn red, then it means that there is some kind of a communication issue with the gateway and the, and the computer. But now that the gateway is assigned, I can go in under gateways, and then configure and edit network settings. Now this is for setting up a static IP address, which you would do. You would uncheck the box that says use DHCP, click yes, and now you can edit your IP address. If this is the IP address that you want to use, then all you have to do is click send. Do not click save, click send. And this will send all of the communication uh, parameters that you are, have set uh, in uh, to the gateway. So you can see that the configuration has been successfully uh, completed. It's going to take a second or two for it to finish communicating with the device on that particular IP address. And once it is done, then you can go out and discover your locks. So now we have our uh, IP or uh, our gateway successfully configured. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, I hope it was informative and um, you were able to learn something about how to program the uh, Trilogy locks. If you'd like to learn more about Alarm Lock, you can go to alarmlock.com and click on the Resources tab, and there's a link there so you can download programming manuals. You can watch uh, recorded webinars. You can attend a live webinar. Uh, you can also sign up for my uh, training blog, my technical blog. Uh, if you sign up for it, then anytime I make a post, it will go directly to your inbox. We'll make uh, posts about new, vi new videos, new software, uh, new products, uh, basically anything alarm lock. If there's something that you would like to learn how to do, uh, a topic on the uh, Trilogy Locks or the software, you can send me a, uh, an email at aphelps at alarmlock.com. That's A-P-H-E-L-P-S at alarmlock.com. And I'll do my best to get that video uh, out and post it on this site.